I don't need a hit to believe that I'm living. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're here, my name is Tara. I know you guys really love Instant Pot recipes. In particular, dump and go recipes where you just throw everything in and hit start. So today I thought it would be super fun for us to make a miso ginger salmon and Israeli couscous. Both of these are gonna cook at the same time inside of the Instant Pot and to make it even simpler, we're using frozen salmon. Before we get started, if you have not already, I would love for you to be a part of this community. You do that by hitting the red subscribe button that's right below this video. Next week, we are making a chicken and wild rice soup. Super delicious. You do not wanna miss this recipe. Be sure to click the bell icon. That way you're notified each time I post a new video. If you guys are ready to make a super delicious salmon with Israeli couscous, smash that like button and let's jump right into the video. Here are all of the ingredients we'll be using today. A complete list will be in the description box below. So we're gonna start by adding some soy sauce, some rice wine, some rice vinegar. This is seasoned rice vinegar, some honey. I've melted this down to make it easier to pour. Miso paste, I'm using red miso. You could also use yellow or even white. Some sriracha, if you don't like heat, then leave this out, and cane sugar. Optional, but I highly recommend it. Then we're gonna grab a piece of fresh ginger and grate it right into the bowl. We're gonna give this a really good stir. Now we're gonna grab our salmon. These are about five ounce completely frozen fillets. I'm adding them to my stainless steel container. And then I'm pouring the sauce right on top. I wanna make sure both pieces of salmon are completely covered with this delicious sauce. Then I'm gonna grab the lid. I'm using a stainless steel container. If you don't have one of these, all you have to do is take some aluminum foil, use a double layer, and place the salmon on individual pieces. Then just pour the sauce on top, fold the packet up nice and tight, and place it on top of the trivet, and it will still be absolutely delicious. Next, I'm gonna make an aluminum foil sling so I can remove this from the Instant Pot when it's done really easily. Now we're gonna grab our Instant Pot. We're adding the Israeli couscous with some water, a little bit of pink salt, give everything a stir. Next, we're gonna grab our trivet. We're gonna lower the stainless steel container or whatever you're using into the Instant Pot. Make sure the silicone ring is on, close the lid, and set the Instant Pot to high pressure for four minutes. We're gonna allow eight minutes of natural pressure, then we're gonna perform a quick release, and when the pin drops, we're gonna open the lid, carefully remove the stainless steel container, or if you used foil packets, remove those. Look at this delicious salmon. I'm gonna remove the trivet, and I'm gonna just fluff up this Israeli couscous. Super easy. This recipe meal preps beautifully. It makes about three servings. So what I do is when I'm ready to enjoy it, I remove the spring mix from the container and I just place that container either in the microwave or in an oven if you have access to it. And then when it's warmed up, add the spring mix back on, stir it up and it will be absolutely delicious. You guys are gonna love this recipe. If you like this video, you guys are gonna wanna check out my Instant Pot recipe playlist. I'm gonna leave it right here for you. Go ahead and click the video on the screen and I will see you over there.